In a significant milestone for SpaceX, Elon Musk's Starship rocket soared high in its third test flight from Boca Chica, Texas. At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic. So we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. Booster's now making its way signal. back, yeah. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. The hour-long integrated flight test marked several achievements, propelling hopes for future missions, including NASA's lunar endeavors. However, post-re-entry, Communication glitches emerged, leading to the loss of contact with Starlink and TDRSS. Enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere is doing the work to slow us down. Uh, now, like we said, this plasma field wow. is, wow, what a view. We hope to maintain these views throughout. Starship is so big that we're hoping that the plasma field doesn't entirely blanket the entire vehicle. Right now, it is not. The Starlinks are Views brought still, to you by Starlink. <laughs> yeah, the Starlinks are still communicating and still uh, capturing the data and the video that we see here. I mean, Shiva, this is just absolutely incredible views. We've never seen anything like this before. This is the, the biggest flying object ever in space. <laughs> absolutely, Kate. And, and it's important to note, with the ascent burn that we did was to get us to orbital velocities. Even though we were on a nearly orbital trajectory, so the heating and the loads that Starship is going through right now are what it would be getting if it were recovering from an orbital mission. And, and just the fact that we have views through entry, this is incredible. Yeah, again, this is the furthest and fastest that Starship has ever flown. And you can definitely tell by the, uh, the crowd here in Hawthorne. The heat chill tiles doing their work. We talked about it earlier. Uh, up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit that those heat chill tiles are dissipating as we SpaceX says its engineers are investigating the issue as the spacecraft was expected to splash down in the Indian Ocean. We're starting to hear some good news that it looks like winds are not going to hold us up. Five, four, three, two, At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic, so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. Now, the, the next major milestone is gonna be a hot staging maneuver. Again, we're gonna be doing that in just about 90 seconds. To do that, we're gonna shut down all but the three center Raptor engines on Super Heavy. Booster's now making its way back, seeing six engines ignited on ship.
Kate, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Oh man, uh, I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just stunning. Uh, these are live views from Starship. Uh, we're uh, only using the Super Heavy Booster's 13 center engines from here on out. Uh, as Whenever they relight, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to change the thrust to steer the first stage back to Earth. In the center for splashdown. Let's see if that'll work. We're getting a few, a few engines. So far, though, I mean, congrats to the team. Making it this far is farther than, we, than we've gone Absolutely. on flight two. Just wonderful views and great engine performance from the vehicles. Of Star Command, there you see it again. This is uh, our mission control center at. We heard a call out for nominal orbital insertion, which is incredible. Look at these views, Dan sort of leaves a, a trail behind it. Um, there's some of those great views from, uh, from Starlink giving us uh, views of Starship's onboard videos. And we'll collect valuable data on Starship flying through the Earth's atmosphere at hypersonic speeds, meaning uh, more than five, or at this point, will be more than five times the speed of sound. Oh man, we can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere is doing the work to slow us down. Uh, now, like we said, this plasma field wow. is, wow, what a view. We hope to maintain these views throughout. So the heating and the loads that Starship is going through right now are what it would be getting if it were recovering from an orbital mission. And, and just the fact that we have views through entry, this is incredible. The heat shield tiles doing their work. We talked about it earlier. Uh, up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit that those heat shield tiles are dissipating. Body of Starship and the drag from the atmosphere to slow us down from orbital speed during the hypersonic phase and then again during the subsonic phase. Absolutely.